Yeah, yeah. Hey. Peace, what peace. Up? What peace, up, smiley, smiley guy? That's <laughs> me, man. How you doing, brother? What's good with you? Yeah, fucking episode one. Talking crazy. A plus yeah. souls of mischief, hieroglyphics, Oakland, California. Not forget anything. Woo! Here we are, man. Good to we be here. here. What's, what's up with you, brother? We here. I'm about to say hi to Mary in a minute, but we here. Hey, 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 hey. Good to be here. Every day is a blessing. Yeah, I'm excited about this. We've both been cheesing our asses off the past couple of weeks, and um, we're going to get right into it and kind of let you guys know what, what this is all about. This is our debut episode, um, Talking Crazy, and I <laughs> love the name, and just a... Two friends just talking about mental health topics and discussion and some spirituality stuff thrown in there and, and just sharing from our experiences. So I figured, you know, like, you know, cause we're kinda, this is kind of like the overview outline type show. Um, yeah. We should kind of go with the origin, at least start with like how, how it came to, came to be because it was so organic too, you know? Like, yeah, man, I guess um, you should probably speak to that first. Well, you're talking about the show, right? Yeah, the show okay, itself. Please. Yeah, I mean, I could start off, uh, you know, I've been on your show over the years, a few times, three times, right? Over over the years. Yeah, yo, it's been, you came on in 2017, I think. It's been like, it's going on 20, 2022. It's crazy. It's time yeah, that, that's a trip. Yeah, man, the older you get, the quicker that shit go. Um, so, yeah, man, um, I, I've been I'm doing, I'm a regular on your show. We became friends over that time. So right. the last time I was on the show, I believe that was just a couple months ago. Um, yeah, and then like, you could pick it up from there. This is the origin of the show. Yeah, like, I mean, we we family, we've been out to High Road Day, we mean, we friends, and so I like just having you on just to chop it up. And and so I had you on a couple of months ago, and, you know, like, you've been candid, you know, you're an open book as far as when we talk, and we just chop it up. And so you've been candid yeah. about, um, you know, some of your challenges and stuff like that. And yeah. so we were just talking about those things, and, and um, Show was yeah. great. We had a nice build, friends, lot like, you know, all right, peace, talk to you. Get off. Wifey's like, yo, she goes, y'all need to do a monthly show. Like, <laughs> you need to do a show and talk about this shit and because it would help a lot of people and it would be a great thing and you should do, you know, you should. And, and I'm like, yeah. fuck yes. And yeah. I called you like, I had a show right after that, after mm -hmm. you. And I, oh, I had my man, and I called you right after and, and, uh, you were ready to get busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I, I got that call, and I was like, "Huh, that's perfect, man. That's a, uh, yeah, no doubt about it. I would love to do that for the same reasons that that your wife said. And um, yeah, you know, um, when I get on, when I get on your show, you know, you know, uh, how I am. Just so uh, we talk about everything or whatever it is, and I make no secrets about challenges with mental health over the years, and um, and uh, you know, so I'm I'm in recovery, sobriety, and all that. I don't really hide any of that stuff, um, on my uh, in my life, really. Um, Cause I'm already a public person. People be into your, into your shit. So if, if you give them, if you give people, you know what it is, it's less for people to speculate about and make up and 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 uh, rumors to run with and all kind of crazy stuff like that. So that's that's why I'm I'm candid in this way. And actually, over the years, I found that that's helped a lot of people. They can, you know people get at me in my DMs and stuff, and they're like, "Yo, man, you be wilding, man." But that stuff is real. you be saying real shit, and um, it really it's really helpful. And um, your transparency is really helpful. And um. You know that lines into what what uh one of the main things about getting help with any kind of mental thing at all uh what, whatever the uh, the scope of it is you got to be transparent with yourself you know it starts with with self honesty you know it starts with like really just being real with yourself so yeah man uh, just by just shooting the shit with you on some real shit on your show now we have our show and I think it's gonna be a good thing we'll be able to help a lot of people it, that's the aim just to be of of service maybe our experiences can uh can be helpful to other people going through similar things. Wh wh again, whether they're, whether they're big or small things, mental health is a wide range of things. Right. Learn, learn, maybe learn what not to do too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, fucking, uh, um, man, that's a so, lesson of, of, of me and my dad. That's a, that's a lesson with me and my dad. What not to do. That that's, I learned a lot from that, that kind of parenting, right. what not to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, you were saying. Same here. Same here. I don't yeah. fuck with that nigga no more, but I, but I, but I, I learned a lot of like, oh, can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. So, but it, yeah. but it's hard because even with that, like, 
it's just still kind of like the habits are still it's like built in like you you still kind of swimming upstream with that so so um <laughs> but so i wanted to get into you know um kind of like the you know a lot of like i said this is an overview but like the why of the show and and, and part of the you know some of the things that we had put down was like men particularly men of color but men in general and people in in our hip hop circles you know cuz you got to be the ultra alpha you know what i'm saying you know og brad attack tact nigga all the time so so we're surrounded you and i are surrounded by situations that aren't really conducive to us sharing and being real about shit right we're in hip hop and Absolutely. we're fucking and we're you know we grew up like if i cried growing up fam like my mom would be like yeah what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, yeah, man. Buck, buck up. Buck up, youngster. So, yeah. <laughs> so, so that's that's one of the reasons, too, um, you know, as far as why we want to, you know, you know, discuss these things. So nobody talks about yeah. this stuff. Yeah, I mean, people of color, the hip-hop community slash people of color, it's it's the, uh, you know, the whole topic of mental health is, is a real t taboo with a uh, taboo topic with a lot of stigmas. And there, there's a lot of... Um, uh, preconceived notions that we as people have about it just based off of information that we've gotten from years and years and years of those stigmas. And and we're, we're at a point in the world and in and, and, and human advancement and civilization that we, you know, we need to start recognizing when we have gotten bad information. If we're supposed to be people that are trying to always progress whether, I mean, what, and that's any person, not just people of color. Right. Um, then we need to start addressing a lot of the bad information we have on topics when we have clearly bad information that's that's making situations worse for right. millions of people all over the world. So you know it, it's uh it's about time that we're evolved and all of that shit to evolve some of our thinking to to actually um think through some of these things that we have really irrational views about that are detrimental to people's mental health. You know. Right. Right. Salute yeah, to everybody yeah. joining in. And I forgot, we're so excited. I didn't cover a couple of the ground rules and all that. Yeah, I'm yeah, all let's, over the place. let's get but We do it. have some ground rules. Um, if you have questions and, and things that, that are relevant, try to make them relevant to the conversation, and you can use the questions feature below. We can pull it up and then we can add on and, and, and talk about those things. Um, somebody was just in here talking about casual want to battle so and so and so. But, yo. Don't be a fucking idiot, man. Like, we're, we're in here talking about some real shit. Like, we can talk about music another time. Like, please understand time, place, and circumstance. Understand what is going on. This is... You know read, the read the room. Read, read right? the room, Pimpin. Read the room, Pay attention. Well, they, they're no longer here. Comprehension. Um, Comprehension. <laughs> they're gone now. <laughs> they on some cow god take me away shit. So, um, and yeah, if you get all wild in the comments, man, like, just acting crazy, you will get sent home. So, please try to act like a fucking adult. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, and that has to be said, unfortunately, because the, the yeah. dope feature about the IG shit is that people can be in the comments, and that's also the whack feature about the IG shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. so anyway, on it, on to that, and um, yeah, we're gonna be doing this every third Monday of of each each month. It's a doable thing for us, and um, so I just wanted to mention those couple of things before we get back to it. So, again, back to the why. Um, Another thing is, man, like, we talked about it today, like, this is critical for our growth, you know what I mean? I don't give a fuck who's in the room. Like, we, we, this is, even Word. if you and I just have a fucking monthly talk, <laughs> you know, how you doing, B? <laughs> like, <Word>. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, nah, for real. Um, Yeah, there's so many ways this is good, but um, just on a personal level, like, just anyone with any kind of uh, of stress at all, I mean, this is what people, when people talk to their friends, you know, their close friends about shit that's that's heavy on their heart or, or they had a bad day or they just need that person that's going to say, the, say that cool shit that know what they go. I mean, that's regular stuff that we do as humans anyway. Right. So we should do that per this topic, you know, like uh, you, you, when we should think of those normal things as mental health, you know, like when you have a stressful day, that's, that's mental health. It yeah. doesn't mean that you're walking around naked down the street with a blanket. You know what I'm saying? Mental health is all of these things. Now, if we tackle all of these mental, if we normalize it to where we talk, we talk about these things and people, and, and we have these kind of conversations such as we're going to have e with each other, you know, really bad mental health issues start as very small ones un untreated a lot of the time. And so when, when us as a society, when we're always so, we, we kind of like let a lot of shit go that ain't cool and wonder why shit gets fucked up later. 
all the time. It's just something that we do as human beings. But when it comes to it, I'm not, I'm not saying that's something we should do. I think that's dumb as fuck. And I think that's a whole nother story. But when it comes to, to, to uh, mental health, us here having this conversation right here, I just hope whatever little thing anybody may get when they're listening, whether it's just like, oh, you know, I needed to hear that today. Or, yeah, I know about that. Anything that in any way blocks a negative from being a, full, a negative and turns into a positive, that's exercising good mental health. It doesn't have to be, man, what, what drugs are you taking and what therapists every single conversation or none of that shit. It's the right. simple, small things, especially in the time of a pandemic. We all should know how, how uh, valuable these small things are in our life and how easy they can tip some people over in such stressful times. You know? it's, it's like, yo, you know, just, yo, did you get some fresh air today? You get outside for a minute? Yeah, like you were so, talking about earlier, you were talking about that earlier today. Now, one of his, one of the things Tamal does is make sure that he, during the work day, he'll step out and get some fresh air just to hit a reset, just to give, you know, give the body a, a, and mind a, a chance to breathe. I mean, create these routines for ourselves that allow us that space, but we don't talk about them enough. We don't have these conversations amongst each other enough. And these could be a tremendous help to to uh, to, to all all of us throughout our day and in, in the stresses of the day and normal life. Right, right. Yeah, my um, brother didn't mean to air you out, but that, I thought that was a good point. Like, hey, like shit. I mean, I, I uh, yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to bite it, man. I'm about to bite nah, it. Man. Just get, go get some get some fresh air every, every hour, every two hours. Yo, so you know? it all came about, fam, because so no, I don't smoke cigarettes. So like, I would see my coworkers going outside. Every hour smoking a cigarette, getting us taking a cigarette break. That yeah. salaried motherfuckers or hourly niggas, they weren't getting docked for that shit. But if I just went outside and stood there, right? What, 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 the, I would, what the fuck is that? So I was like, hold up. <laughs> These niggas going outside killing themselves on the clock. Like, <laughs> the least I could go out and help myself. I was like, fuck that. So I started Word. setting my alarm for, like every two hours. I'd go, out, I'd go outside if it was nice. And just sit in the parking lot, whatever, walk around the block for a second, or even just go up the um like I, I worked in a big building, so I just go up and down the steps, walk around the motherfuckers, walk, yeah. you know, go to the take, you know what I'm saying? So shit like that, man, is just taking care of yourself is, is a shit. And and again, you know, maybe one of the things, because like, you know, when labels get attached to shit, then people get get weird, right? So like maybe it's not right. mental health. It's like, yo, we just talking, man. Like, you know what I mean? You gotta call it something, but it's yeah. like it, it, the word, the, the term mental health, it, it's just like immediately people get the ego flare of um, uh, emotions about it. And, and they're like, oh, yeah, no, me, I don't got no mental health. Let me tell you about mental, not you, but, you know, let me tell people about mental health, it, it, whether it's big or small. If you the type of motherfucker that when someone says something that you can't, you, you don't agree with, you can't help but be angry and express that shit, that's poor mental health. That don't mean you crazy or, or, or you whatever, you know, you need to go get a psychological evaluation right now. You know what I'm saying? It's just, and that doesn't mean that you are a messed up person, but this is keep it a buck. A lack of emotional control is a mental health issue. So that's why any of the, any, any conversation we have here it should be something that we, that we welcome, that we're welcome to hear as a listener, because it's not like an indictment on anybody. When you say the word, when you say the phrase mental health, literally any kind of lack of control of your mental and your emotional emotions or and, and acting on them lies in the in the uh in the section of, of mental health so if you ain't a perfect motherfucker and you ain't jesus or muhammad walking around here um doing everything correctly every single moment of your whole damn life then tune in and and, and share something about you know mental well-being and and yeah. learn something and, and and give something you know it's not it's not it's again it comes back to our community man it's like my parents are jamaican bro mental health the fuck is that what that's not even a thing you know what i'm saying like mental health what's going on with that shit you know so you know just little by little we could we could just like just break it down like come on man loosen up get your panties out a bunch it doesn't mean you're not a man or you're not like an upstanding strong person if if some things are challenging and you can learn if other perspectives on how to deal with them better. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what it is. Non-perfect motherfuckers thinking they know everything all the damn time is a huge ass problem in this world as it is. You know, if we just kind of open our ears up to other people's experiences, we could all help each other out a whole fucking lot. 
And it doesn't really, t it takes way less energy to do that than it does to be like, I know every fucking thing. And since I had this in my mind already about it, it must be right because my grandma told me that shit. You know, come on, man. We just here to spread it around, see what kind of simil similarities we may have in our situations in life. That, when I mean, when I say that, I mean me and you and everybody listening. You know, just like, you know, we can learn from each other. We're just being a little bit uh, objective have some empathy for other people's situations. You never know what you can learn that, that in turn could be helpful to you in your own life, your own kids, your own family, your own workplace, your own girlfriend, wife, whatever the hell, man. So, just, uh, you know, you know me, I can just go on about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just be, yeah, 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 let's go. So let's get into as well what the show is not um, because I think that's critical. Sometimes the best way to tell what something is by, by sharing what it isn't. And, and mm -hmm. so the first thing to start off is, is that we're not doctors, and we're not here to diagnose anybody. We're, we're not, you know, we're sharing from our experiences. And, and, and if we have had, I mean, we can talk about this in a little bit. If we have had any training or anything like that or whatever, we can, we're sharing from that. But, you know, our, our phrase kind of that we're maybe developing and using is take what you want and leave the rest. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, if, if you get, if you're on for an hour and you get one little nugget out of this shit, all right, and everything else is bullshit, then fuck everything else. Take what that, take what that one piece and, and, and do that shit with it. So um, we're we're just again we're here we're sh we're sharing and maybe thinking that some of our experiences, challenges, successes um, might help or they won't. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? But yeah. So that's that's important. We're not not you know, doctors. No, um, you know, like a bunch of opinions and stuff. If somebody has a better one, I would always love to advance my opinion in in the um in the uh, spirit of knowledge and truth. So I'm not here trying to debate nobody over no shit if unless right. it's like unless it's like uniquely passionate to me, you know what I'm saying? And I have a wealth of experience in the area. Even then, we're going to be open-minded people about how right. we approach this shit. This is anybody coming in here being like you're wrong. This doctor said, motherfucker, well, nobody over here is a doctor, so take that somewhere else, please. Right. Um yeah. So that's what we're not. We're not doing that. Also, another thing we are not is again mental health covers so much ground in life we're not focusing on strictly people bipolar issues strictly people with addiction issues strictly people not with narcissistic shit strictly people with domestic violence we're, we're, we're talking about whatever comes up and addressing it in an organic way so that we're not masters of anything over here we just people chopping it up trying to advance the conversation and more than anything just um normalize the conversation get people chopping it up we could listen and see what everybody thinks about things but we're not here to put no flag down and make no declaration that we know anything better than than anybody else we're sharing our experiences and personally and i know you are as well i'm here to learn as well you know i'm it's just like any other day i'll share right. what i can and 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 i'm here to learn what 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 i can as well you know right and, and you and know have some fun with it work and that's 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 important man i mean like because what may work for me burning this L after I get out of work so I don't fucking rip nobody's head off might not work for somebody else. You know what I'm saying? They might need to do something. They might need to do something else to deal with some sort of situation or whatever. So um, that's important. The other thing too is that, and I told, I wanted to talk to you about this because so a lot of people salute everybody in the chat and, and a lot of people jumped on, started rocking with the carrying the culture page after you did, did your video. Salute. Thank you very much. Right. I just when I went, I hit you up and I was like, yo, I hope motherfuckers understand, man. Like, <laughs> there's more than one side. This ain't this ain't this ain't no kumbaya shit. I'm I'm about it. I got like thirty. I'm many faces, man. Like my shit just spin yeah. around. And I, it could be into twenty different things. So it's like, I'll post some fucking self help shit. Three of your videos, a fucking crazy ass meme, and my, <laughs> then my grandson back to back to back to back to back. Like, so. Just please understand, like, we're also humans. Like, I got many sides. It's like, just because we're talking about this doesn't mean, like, we're, we're experts or we're this or that. It's just like, please understand we're, we're, we're humans and we're not perfect. I mean, I, I, somebody, somebody, I told you, somebody aired me out. I did a show with the good, good brother OG, Brother J, X Clan. We do a monthly. Brother J. And um, salute. And, and uh, salute. it was about being a conscious artist. So the next day I posted some crazy wild shit because that's what I do. I got a fucked up sense of humor. The dude was like, <laughs> dude was like, oh, uh, 
and you just did a you just did a show about being a conscious artist, bitch. Chill. All right. So I just, <laughs> I'm just putting that out there from 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 our perspective, from us. I'll speak for myself. Like, yeah, not, not don't yeah. Bo don't box don't box me in. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Real spill. I mean, a hundred percent. I agree. And um, you know, there's no holier than thou type shit over here. I mean, me personally. On that same note, I'm in recovery. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, as a matter of fact, in nine days, it'll be no no alcohol for a year, and um and and um no cigarettes since August first. You know, I'm I'm still chiefing. I, I micro dose and, and stuff like that. No drugs. You know what I'm saying? Um, besides those, and um, but there, you know, in the sense of transparency, I've been I didn't said a whole gang of crazy ass shit. So this is certainly not the place. This is certainly not the place to where me and Tamal is coming up here to be judged as if we think we all that and we all this and all that and, and is riding in no riding no chariot in on no pristine horses and shit. Like th this is this as much as we like to be positive and pleasant, man, this shit could get raw, this shit could get gritty. Y'all already know that this shit called talking crazy. Y'all already know me. Like yeah. I'm in recovery, but like man, you know, like motherfucker, you know, it get wild. So um Let's just, you know, we're not here to go no, be on no tit for tat or point out it, my wrongs or his wrongs or like, I know this better than you. That's not the vibes here. We actually here on some community-based thing. We here trying to like chop it up and share perspective and, and, and be more wide, have a more wide range of thinking. Like, uh, so this is just so people listening, this is our first episode, just so to give those guys, some of the guidelines of things so there ain't no surprise if you come with some jerk ass shit and you just get blocked. Or like, or, or if I snap on you, if you come in here with some dickhead shit, because me personally, the way I live my life is my shit is all out there. So what the fuck you gonna tell, say to me? Right. That's gonna sure. be what? What you gonna say to me? That's gonna hurt? You know, embarrass me or like, oh, I got you. I got. I'm like, if you know, you know. If you know me already, so come in here with the spirit of how you already know me. We'll be fine. And and I I, I think my partner Tamal was saying the same thing. It's like, oh yeah. Speaking of what you were saying, so somebody had left a. a uh, a comment. So some somebody that I know from my following and left a comment on on the ad for the show today, and it was like, "Yo, plus I want to check out the uh, want to check out the show with with you and bro." But he, for some reason, he has blocked me, you know. And I was like, "Well, bro, you must have said something that my man considered as some slick shit somehow, you know. You must have because he's a quick blocker, and if he come with some slick shit, you know, he's known to you know quick block you real quick." And then the response back from my brother was like, no, you know, I can't, I can't recall ever saying anything slick to this man. And I was like, bro, if he blocked you, he interpreted something you said as some slick shit. I'm going to holler at my man to see if, if he'll unblock you. No guarantees. So um, I just said that to say that actually happened today. It's, it's even still in a, it's actually a cool, a cool brother, somebody I know. It's actually still in the comments, but just so, just to add some uh, transparency here, if you come around here with anything on that extra jerk douchey shit, you're going to get, not to say that my brother did that, who, who we're talking about in the comments, but anybody listening, the, uh, Tamal has the block button. He has the key to the blockage. I have Matumbo, nothing to do with it. baby. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, listen, it, let me explain it, real it's quick. Out of my hands. Me... It's out of my hands, people. It's all on him, so. Let me explain real Be quick. Cool. Okay, something else, man. Like, yo, like. Here's the thing. If I have to try to decipher it, if you're being shady or not, I don't have time for that. Like, the page is too active. So it's like, I just, I, I'd rather just err on the side of caution because nine times out of ten when I don't block somebody, I got to block them later. All, 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 every single time. So it's like, fuck it, yo. I, mean, I know there's niggas out there floating around in, in, in the ether that that have, that have don't deserve to be there. But there's, you know, there's casualties, man. You know what I'm saying? And this is, this is, this is like, sometimes a nigga lose a limb or some shit, man. You know what I mean? You, you come back from a fucking war, your arm hanging off. That, you know. Now, you know. So I now mean, you swimming in, now you swimming in a circle. You know. What you know saying? what I'm saying? You're just your going, going around like just spinning around and shit like this. Man. So I, <laughs> I got the spin chair. I got the spin chair too, yo. <laughs> so nah, so so it's some real shit. So it's 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 just like I can't I don't have time to decipher, like be straightforward, be direct. I'm the most I always say I don't do subliminals, I do direct the most. Like I'm the most direct I, nigga you'll I ever like meet, that. man. You'll never have to guess where you stand with me. And and Word we're gonna up. talk, we're gonna have a show on communication, like because you know, that's some critical shit of mental health. Like people don't communicate 
and then they get then they get all salty when their feelings get hurt. But you didn't you didn't share your intentions. So communication go communication is huge. Yeah, we we, we man we gonna go there. Woo! We are gonna get into it. Yeah. All right. So um, but I did want to ask though, you know, um, because I'll share something a little bit. Like, have you had any like um like just in general, have you had any like? Because I know you said you did some speaking on this, like at a hip hop show or something. Have you had any so little weekly rap guys? Have you had any um training or like you know like like in this area? What were you speaking on before you uh, said? I haven't had any training myself. I, or to be honest, I took a few psych cl psych classes at Laney High. Um, it's like a uh, what do you call it? Like a JC. Around where we live, we had some off time back in the early souls days. Like I think like ninety four, ninety five, maybe ninety six. Took a few psych classes. Other than that, I'm forty seven years old. I got forty seven years of life of being a person that likes to take like to take in information. I like to know what I'm talking about. I like to learn more. I don't like to just say fuck shit. I don't know shit about. I, my ego doesn't work like that. So my the, my quest for my quest in life, my life so far has taking me on a quest, learning, uh, trying to get as much information about things, especially things that affect me deeply. Now, I've been in therapy before, you know what I'm saying? So I, I and I'm current, currently in it now, you know what I'm saying? So I've understood, I, I, that's a place I can speak from by experience. I've been prescribed something before by a doctor. So I can speak to that from experience. I've been in toxic situations with people who know you got an issue and, and fuck with it as a, because they know you got it. I've been in those kind of situations. I've been in a, in a violent household growing up. I've been around going fucking smoking crack. I've been around people just drinking and drinking. That's how I got, that's how I got into the liquor stand because they looked like they was having way more fun than I was when I was... 10, 11, 12. So when the cabinet, when they were sleeping and passed out and the cabinet was open, I just got me a few nips. You know, I know about anxiety. I know about, uh, you know, just from this industry. So like, I'm going to be speaking to things. I may not have any training, uh, formal training, but dude, for 47 years on this earth, 30 odd years in the music business in one of the crews where our path in the world has been different than, mo than a lot of groups. You know what I'm saying? I have a lot of inform firsthand information that I could share. Of course. Ba based on that. Um, also, man, being being um in recovery, you know, that's 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 like a training. I understand. <laughs> you you learn a new shit. Yeah. Like I, uh, you, you definitely learn a new shit. If if you if you were a person that shouldn't be drinking because of whatever, for me it's like anxiety. That's why I like this mental health shit because we could talk about addiction because Addiction problems are centered in in mental health issues. Of course, fucking fucking period. You know what I'm yeah, saying? There's no way yeah. around that shit. So, it's a, yeah, it's man. A, just a mechanism to deal with shit. That's all. I mean, that, that, that's not the problem. That's once once you get so once you sober up from whatever it is. Now you got to look at yourself and be like, oh, okay, this is what the fuck I was hiding from the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn. That's you know that's I mean? that's where I'm at in in, right. in the world. Like, you know, one thing about for me. For me personally, uh, sobriety from alcohol has allowed me, has actually forced me to be face to face with things that I may not, that I really just drank the fuck down. And so, like, I don't have to deal with that shit and be like, it don't bother me. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, uh, but, um, you know, the things you use to, 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 uh, to self medicate and shit, when you stop those things, if they become unsustainable, fortunately, <laughs> if, if you stop them before you kill yourself or somebody else, um, what's left is the stuff that your fault, no matter whose fault it is, is the trauma you have to deal with. That shit is there. It don't go nowhere. And and um, at that point, you realize it's been it's really been a, a big hold, a thing holding you back from a lot of things. And um, it's a lot more. Uh, it, it's it's a lot worse to ignore shit than to have it for the rest of your life. You know, it's it's better just to go. That's a, these are things I I could just say through um through what's just through, from sobriety from alcohol myself yes. is that like yo I, I could look at the hardness of going through some of some mental shit or the prospect of drinking for the drinking myself to death for the rest of my life and seeing people who do that shit and have done it and i just rather just not drink and go through the hard shit now you know what i'm saying so right. yeah you know me i could just no nah, it's all good um for me, just to put it out there, because there's a lot of people that are, are from, I mean, not, may not be familiar with me. Um, please, please, as as man, this is this is my brother Tamal. For anybody out there who knows me and don't know him, 
get to know him. This is my brother. Speak on it, my man. Oh, so just, uh, I mean, I'm just sharing because I just want to be transparent. I mean, I think we all should, you know, so like that's why I asked. But um, well, real quick though, didn't you say you spoke about this topic somewhere, like a hip hop? Oh no, yeah, no, yeah, I've sp I've spoken on it. I mean, there's, I think I actually um, it might I might have posted it, like me the the recording of me speaking on it. So I've spoken to to mental health before, but it's as somebody that's an artist, like the notoriety of being a plus and also dealing with these issues yeah, that that, yeah. that 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 people deal with on an everyday basis in some ways it's helpful to people because, of course. but it, it doesn't, you know, it's not the same as, as I guess, you know, five years at a college or, do, or, or learning anything, but, but it, 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 um, it's helpful. So I've been, no, I mean, listen, there, there's, I'm a, I'm an, you know, I'm an accountant for, by, for my, by profession and I didn't go to school for it. You know what I'm saying? But, but I, I just know, I know how to do it and I've been doing it for 13 years. So right. like, so that's, I mean, I was just curious. So, so for me, I mean, like it's a combination of life experiences. Um, I also worked as like a, a job coach for for teenagers with mental health issues, like schizophrenia, different different things like that, trying to help them uh, start businesses and or gain some type of employment. You know, a lot of them couldn't keep jobs because they, you know, have some type of situation or whatever. I did that. Was, that was that was the most rewarding job I ever had. You know, I mean, because like I could see people's progress and like. You know, like what I was doing and, and the different techniques I was using and stuff. I was off the books. I mean, I mean, I was, I didn't, they're like, oh, you got to handle people like this. And I'm like, this motherfucker don't want to be handled like that. Like he needs to, you know what I mean? Be handled like this. Like let this nigga have a soda first before he starts working. Then he'll be happy. Like, you know what I mean? I want a soda shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so, so I, I, I did that for a couple of years and uh, made shit for money, but it was the best job I ever had by far. Um, just, just, just doing that. And, and then, um, nobody really knows about that. Me knows, knows this, but so I was off the grid for a long time, like a long time because I was part of a religious tradition. I had a, I have a group. Wait, I, I, I was, I was just going to ask off the grid, meaning like just stepped off the scene or off the fucking grid. Like I was on a farm. I was on a 300 acre farm milking cows and making and, and, and getting up at three o'clock in the morning like making cheese from from fucking scratch from I'm, like do tell it, brother please so so and i and so i had i have a guru he passed away and so i got a lot of i got a lot of knowledge from him about a lot of this stuff and he would often say like the mind can be the best friend or worst enemy so like for him what he shared with his disciples was that he was all about like mental health shit he was like a really contemporary like guru like so he was like before we get to the super duper spiritual shit, everybody got to get their fucking mind. Well, he didn't say that. Like everybody, <laughs> everybody got to get their minds right. You know what I mean? So like, so it's like you, if you're battling all these demons and, and, and you're not right here, you can't love God. You can't, you can't be thinking of, you can't be, you got to get yourself right. So he focused yeah. on a lot of that stuff. So, so it's a tradition that I was heavily a part of for like 15 years. But so I was, I was away. From, Man, I would I never knew that and never would have known. This is very interesting, brother. So I, I was I was away for a minute. My my real name ain't Tamal. And well, my word. my guru my guru gave me that name and it's a long name, but so 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 there's wow. there's a there's a component there of the things that I'll share, but I won't share it in a way as if like you gotta convert to some shit or something like that, you know what I mean? Like, whatever, it's just, you won't even know. I mean, but there'll, there'll be a lot of things that I throw out that he taught. They were just, you know, common sense, real life stuff. So, um, that's, that's awesome, that. Bro. I mean, but, but, but here's, here's just to say this though, you know, like, no amount of school or education or, or like, you know what I mean? Life experiences, all that stuff's valuable. So if you have some training and you don't know what to fucking do with it, then it doesn't matter. Like, I'm still on the, just because I, just because I've had, whatever training or this experience or that experience, it doesn't mean anything if I'm still flying off the handle and still losing my shit. And which I still struggle with my temper every single day, every mm -hmm. day. And so, you know, I hear so, you. I hear you. I mean, so, Man, so, so it, it, it's, it's a kind I mean, so I'm just sharing to be transparent, but it doesn't mean shit because I'm right. I always say, man, I'm in it with everybody. Yo. Like, I'm swimming, like, yo, fighting against the current of this bullshit too. So we all in it together. So, yeah. So yeah, a hundred percent, man. I'm man. 
you know, I've known you these years, man, and it ain't like it's been 20 years, but it's like, you know, it's been a few, and I never knew that and never would have known, so I appreciate you sharing that. And that is going to come in super, um, I don't want to say handy, it's going to be very interesting as we navigate the show and, and the topics go on, the, the wealth and knowledge you can get from, from, that you can share from that situation. So thank you for sharing. That's a trip. I never would have picked you as a First time I ever shared that publicly. I mean, and I, I, I will talk more offline about it and stuff, you know what I mean? I'll share some share some stuff. I was going to send you some emails and stuff about some things, but um, yeah, I mean, it's part of why I'm a vegetarian and all, all those things. So, but, you know, it, but, you know, it was a big part of my life and I'm in a different space, but, but, but the, but the intel is still in my heart. And, and so, you know what I mean? I, I still, still, it's not like you just throw out, throw out 15 years of, 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 um, of, tr of teaching and training, you know what I mean? As far as stuff like that goes. So, um, nah, nah, that doesn't just that doesn't just go away. Um, but and uh, yeah, go yeah. ahead. No, nah, go ahead. Nah, I was just gonna say is that like you know stuff like that. We get to a point in life to where you know once we could see, you know, you get older, you see things better, and you understand things better. God willing, and um, we can mix and go through our life and mix and match and, and see the good stuff that we have picked up and try to figure out how to ditch the bad shit along the way and, um, and, and just go through our life like that. And, and I'm, I'm a, it really sounds like that experience has a lot of good things to share from it, from a perspective that not many people will, uh, will have had before. So I'm looking forward to you, uh, you know, sharing your knowledge from that point of view. That's a trip. I never knew that about you. That's, that's yeah, wild. We'll, we'll talk more Let, yeah, that's about dope. it. That, I mean, it's dope. dope. Let's, let's go check. There's some questions. I want to get into maybe some of these actually. Somebody's, uh, Judah Buddha said, have you ever heard of ego? I'll, pull, I'll bring it up. Have you ever heard of ego death? They said, yes. Mental I, ha I have heard of ego death. Um, uh, I've heard of, um, I've actually been, um, yeah, I met I met some people within the last few months that have um you know invited me to like some 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 sacred ceremonies where they, they partake in ego death and um it's supposed to be life changing. It's a thing that Mike Mike Tyson talks about a lot when he talks about doing the toad and you know they're you know the thing that uh, you know when people talk about I went to go see a shaman and and for a few days in, in a in a in a secluded location. Um, a lot of times people are going out there to, to somehow, you know, I think it has a lot to do with psychoactive, psychoactive, uh, like, you know, psilocybin maybe, or, or, or like different kind of, I don't know the right terms to say, so I don't, I, I'm trying to be PC, but like drugs, um, mushrooms, um, peyote, stuff like that. Yeah. And, um, D DMT, th things of that nature. And, um, you could, you could, uh achieve an ego death and, I, and that's certainly something that i'm 100 percent interested in and will be doing in my lifetime uh coming up but that's just to answer the question i don't know a, t a shit ton about it um I, I know what i could share about it i've never done done any i've never done it myself but it is an aspiration a spiritual aspiration for me in this lifetime to, to uh, gradually go towards the ego death because i think once once i've got i gotten to a point in my life to where i don't really the, the the defense that my ego has provided me growing up is it's no longer useful to me now. It's harmful, and um, I don't have no use for it anymore. Um, at, at this phase of my life, and so I do, I I am, uh, on a path towards the ego death, God willing. Just to answer the question, no expert here. If I messed up some words and fuck the semantics, you know what I'm trying to say. So my experience with that is not necessarily a ceremony where you take a drug and it's over. It's it's more of a um, you work on yourself and it, and it happens. <laughs> and that's, I mean, yeah. so from the, from the yogic, the yogic Eastern perspective, as far as Buddhism, Hinduism and, and the Eastern shit is what I can speak to the, the, that's the goal, but it's a gradual process. It, we may never attain it. And it's, and it's something that it's, it's, so the drugs can, listen, I've taken a lot of psychedelics, continue to take them. The drugs can do their thing. But the real work, I mean, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. The real work is without the drugs, man. It, it is. That stuff helps at times. I've, I've had some great experiences on shrooms and, and this and that. And, 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 and I, I was listening, I've, and I've gotten fucked up off that stuff. But in the end, yo, it's about changing your heart. I mean, it, it, I agree. And, and there's no shortcut. 
there's no shortcut to doing that. You know, it's a, it's a, the, you know what I've been saying? 12 steps says, says um, progress, not perfection. So like it's, it's you, you, you work, man. And you, and you, you try, you stumble. I want to work on my temper today. Okay, I'm going to try not to rap. Today I had a victory. All right, tomorrow I might I slip. I fucking air this nigga out when I need to. All right, you keep, <laughs> you keep going. But like, the, I mean, just keep it funky, man. Like that stuff is, those things are, they can they can help you open up help open up chambers if you're if, if you need that boost, but the honest gritty dig it away shit, uh-huh. sober the fuck up and work on your shit. That that's uh, really uh, what, that's... Uh, agreed agreed. I um I often call that like whenever I'm talking about that situation, every what you just described, I call it the honest conversation. It's like having an honest conversation with yourself. Like ultimately, like you said, like we. We, if we have an honest conversation with self, we know what we need to do. You know what I'm saying? We know what it is. Now, whether we're willing to do what it takes is a whole nother thing. Like you said, sober the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to get to no ego death with addictions. You know what I'm saying? It, it's all, it, it's like, so. Like, you can take whatever like, you want, man. But if you ain't like. If your heart is not where it needs to be, that shit is gone. You're going to have a great time, and then you're going to be back where you were. Exactly. The, the, ultimately, the work is, is, is self-work. And that's the shit that there is no quick fix to. That's what, the life, that's what life is for, ultimately. Like, um, I, always, I always say, man, it's like, um, I'm, like I'm an idealist, but I don't really believe in, them, in, in the total <laughs> ideal. I believe that me being an idealist is what keeps me driving to that direction because I don't really feel like there is a, a place where like, yeah, I, I ultimately figured everything out or I, 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 I got everything perfect the way I want it. I think just me having the ideals in my head is what provides the, 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 the motivation to continue to go through next to the next adversity, to the next adversity, to the next one. And um, that's, just, that's right in hand with the ego death. I mean, the more you, raise your spiritual awareness in life the less ego the more the more you chip at your ego so it's a it's a constant it's a process it's not it's not nothing you're gonna go to the go to a tp in the mountains for one weekend and come back and be like i'm cool you nah, know what i'm saying that's not i, uh, I tried that already and it, it doesn't yeah. work you can i mean i i think it works to the to the point like how you said it before it's like if you're on that path these little things are like boosters you know what i'm saying but right. if you're not a, and they will help if it like for me, when I take when I take psychedelics, which I don't do a whole lot of, like I do them with intent. That's one of the things too. You're supposed to do them with intent, right? And I do it with intent, and I try to get some enlightening out of it, or whatever. And I continue moving. There's never been a point where I've just been like, okay, got it, done. Not off yeah. no drug. Not off no drugs. That's like, yeah. And we don't ever really get it. Listen, I always, you know, have been told that, like, you know, the real spirituality and the real like mental health strength and shit comes in our day-to-day lives. When you're in fucking rush hour traffic and a nigga cuts you off or whatever, like, that's when your spirituality is kicks in, when you don't fuck somebody up when you want to. Like, yeah. that's <laughs> that's the real shit. When I say, okay, when nine times out of ten I sent this nigga to the essence, all right, I'm gonna let you live today, B. Like, that's the spirituality. You're not fucking... I mean, the, uh, all those things, not, any retreat I've ever gone on, has been great, but I had to go back to the city, back to wherever, back to the job, back to the shitty boss, whatever the fuck it was, and and and, and back to myself and deal mm-hmm. with that shit. I can anybody can be spiritual in the mountains uh, on a retreat with a bunch of motherfucking yoga doing yoga like all day long. You, you know that that brings up a good point too. I mean, or it makes me think of something. Is that like when I when I get in those situations when I have some kind of epiphany or or like realize something, but I have to go back to some shit that I know was fucking with me. That's a big lesson right there. It's like, what are your triggers? Where do you place yourself? And how do you manage though? If there are places where you have to be, it's important to manage the triggers around there. If it's something that you can't manage, you got to get up out of there. That shit I learned from like, you know, just like trying to figure shit out. And like, and like how you said, like going somewhere and realizing something and having to go back to the bullshit. Like I literally, like when it came to, for me, I had to, really realize that like oh you know you kind of like trying to make shit work that's never going to work and that shit is that shit is a trigger for your anxiety you know what i'm saying like yeah. and that goes back to us being being honest with ourselves right you know we're gonna talk about the show but being honest with yourself like yo you're, you're not a fucking you're not a ball player nigga you're, you're five foot three 
or whatever. Like whatever it is, like five you know and I mean? seven, blood. It's seven. It, five you know, like <laughs> fucking. Yeah, um, but yeah, I wasn't gonna say yo. Uh, oh, let's put up this big sis with the question. Hey, what up, sis? Alien is here. That's big sis. What up? Um, so she said, "What are the thoughts and what the reason suicide of Regina King son? You think the pressure of being successful contributed, probably in any way?" I mean, first of all, rest in peace. I had no idea. Um, yeah. That is that is very sad to hear, and um, and that's horrible. Um, sorry to hear that. Um, rest in peace to him, and blessings to to Regina King and her family. I literally had no idea and hadn't heard that in any way at all. I'd seen a meme, not a meme, but a post on it somewhere, but I didn't see too much detail on it. I mean, anytime someone feels that they have to take their life, man, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know the situation, so I can't comment directly on the situation. But anytime someone has to take, feels that they have to take their life and it's, that's just it, then, you know, they were really in some fucking trouble. And, 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 and that, because that's, you know, I've, like, what I do, like, I've had, I don't know like what the definition of suicidal is, but I I think everybody that's been on this earth for for a minute has had some thoughts of like, damn, it might be better if I wasn't around this bitch no more. Like just mm-hmm. better. Like not even on no like it's like fuck this shit, right? So just, I'm tired, B. So I feel like like you know we have those. I've, I've had those thoughts, but like I play the tape out. I play it all the way through. And like look at what I've, whenever I've been in my darkest place and it's okay. It's, you got to play the whole shit out. Whose family did you affect? Who did you affect? Your seeds, your, you know what I'm saying? Your peoples. And be like, oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, So I, I don't know. I, that's a rough thing. But here's my point. I mean, here's my thing on this. I'm going to ask you this, man. I've always had a, a hard time with suicide. Mm-hmm. Because I've always, and this is just me still trying to work, be, work on empathy and compassion. I've always felt like it's been a bit selfish. Like, like, you know, especially the way certain people do it and shit. Like, damn, you added some extra hurt to a motherfucker. Like, you, you doing it on your birthday or like you, like, I mean, so I look, I mean, so and I get it, they're going through shit. And, but sometimes I, I sometimes I, I can't help but feel sometimes I'm like, man, that's that's kind of that's kind of selfish to me sometimes, man. You know what I mean? And and, and that's it, it feels that way. And I'm just putting it out there like that's just a thought that I. Yeah, I, just, you know. You know, I, I, I hope nobody really tries to go really hard and, and, and try to beat you up for that, because you being 100 percent real, uh, in my opinion, um, like for one, I've had those thoughts before, too. Like there's a there's a thing for having those thoughts, even though if you never considered doing it, like being to a point to where you actually thought about it. There's actually a, a medical term for that. Mm. I can't recall what it is right now. But of course there is. <laughs> of course there is. Right. These motherfuckers. Right. Um, but um. I do, you know, I do believe, I mean, I understand and agree that it, it appears quite selfish, to, especially to the people that are hurt, that are left behind. What I, I try to really look at it as like somebody missed the, missed the call, not to no fault of anybody else. It could be sheer ignorance uh, and not knowing. But somebody missed the mental health call a long time ago with somebody who got to the point where they smoked themselves or killed themselves and nobody said anything. And that's why I think what we're talking, just us talking about this here is dope. It, it, it's, uh, you know, it's a mental health issue to me. If, right. if somebody gets to the point where they want to ki- smoke themselves, they want to kill themselves, and the people close to them, if they have any, didn't notice that, it just this, again more reason why 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 this topic shouldn't be so stigmatized in a negative way with the right. general with the generational stigmas on it. You know, and and, and um another point like big big sis brought up, we were just talking about this the other day. Um, the uh the statistics for for uh people of color and suicide have gone up like ridiculously wow. like i mean they've gone up so high over over the past 2 years that it should be alarming and and i didn't personally see these stats but my sister is a knowledgeable person and she was telling me this so you know if, if we're not, if, you know what i i trust her cuz she be yeah. she be fucking talking about but, but like um yeah just um it, it it really does hurt a lot of people that, i think the main solution to that is widening the the, uh, the uh, influence of, of um of mental health awareness you know right. that how you know so we can catch that you know a bunch of people get, um you know i i got fr- people friends of people who k- killed themselves last year and the year before and um yeah it's, it's, and i also think 
I mean, the sure. fact that, uh, you know, the fact, unfortunately, the fact that somebody was actually, it actually got to the point where they carried it through when, is, is, is disappointing because it's like, that means, man, like somebody wasn't like, how did they fall through the cracks like that where like somebody couldn't help, you know? And again, everyone, every, in the end, we're all responsible for our own decisions, but it's like, man, like, you know, it's just tough because I'm like, where was the support system for that? Or like, what was that? You know, like, because obviously if, if they have to, if they have to go through that, that it's, it's fucking real out there. Well, I, mean, I mean, like, you know, like, like. I mean, it, it comes back to like, why this is, why, why this, this conversation is so pertinent. I mean, men, like mental health be, being addressed normally and in a healthy way and, and, and kind of revamped in this country would, without a doubt, affect the 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 level of suic uh the amount of suicides that we have in, in the country I think you know I mean I'm, again I'm no expert but that uh, I just said that to be to to say that that's why this conversation is so important like right. why 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 is it why is suicide kind of, like it's like norm we know it's fucked up right we know it's all based off of fucked up shit happening and and people feeling fucked up why is it like something that's even normal in our, our thoughts like. Oh, they committed suicide, or oh yeah, this suicide, suicide rates went up. This shit is like should be a national emergency. Yeah, be, of course. But but the but the reason it isn't is because you know the interest of the people in the situations that make the, that create the circumstances where people want to kill themselves. Yeah, then that's when we start getting into political shit and 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 all that you know, all of that you know. So we not we don't got all the answers here, but it's good to talk about it. Right, a couple of things I'm gonna answer. Judah Buddha's question real quick and, 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 and then we're gonna stop the show and run it back for like I got like you got like 15 20 minutes okay you got like 15 do you have how much time I, you oh, oh I, I do my brother I do so okay. let, explain explain to everybody else so yeah yeah and I'll let them know so real quick Judah Buddha um uh based on what I was involved in I've like um lectured extensively on reincarnation and and and, and um um so we can talk offline about that. I can give you some notes and stuff, and we can just chop it up about that because that's something I'm very familiar with. So I just wanted to answer that question publicly real quick to let him know that. So hit me up because I won't remember, but hit me up, Judah Buddha. I think that's what it is, and um, we can Judah talk Buddha about eight five seven six. Right, we can talk about the reincarnation shit. Eight hey, plus. Peace, Fuck peace. Crazy episode one, and we're gonna go for a few more minutes um, before we get on out of here, but. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where we were just answering. We were looking at some questions in the shit. So if you have any questions, please use the questions feature. Um, so, and we can continue to go there. Um, the fuck was I going to say? Yo, one thing I wanted to, to discuss, though, is that, um, you know, a lot of people, actually, myself included to a degree, I would keep it 100. A lot of people, like, start working on themselves, sober up. Um, find God, do some spiritual shit, do some yoga, start meditating, <laughs> and then become fucking assholes, and, and like really become fuck like just pretentious, self righteous dickheads, yeah. like because and I was like, yo, it's you true. were just like just like just doing this, this, this and it's like now like because you sober. And I've seen some some people. I've seen some shit, I'm, and it turns me off, man. Like yes. it really, really does, man. You know. Now, I, I, hundred percent, I agree, man. And um, being someone that's in recovery, like if you in recovery, and all of a sudden you start judging all kind of motherfuckers, you you ain't recovering. You know what I'm saying? You you still got all the issues. You know what I'm saying? You still got it all. They they have things in um AA called dry drunks. It's people who ain't drinking, but they're not dealing with none of the issues, and they just fucked up still. So they might as well just be drunk still, except not drinking. And those are people that like every day still want to drink all the time because they're not fixing none of the problems. Oh. And um, that's that's more stressful. That's in a lot of ways, in some people's opinion, more stressful than just a motherfucker who's still drinking. Right. You know. Right. But um, yeah, I'm I don't I don't like them kind of motherfuckers. It, it says a lot about them people who do that kind of shit. I don't like people who not in sobriety, who are not in recovery, who do that kind of shit. I know a bunch of people who are like fucking know it all motherfuckers that are the most fucked up people in the world. And I just a hypocrite, in, a, a, a blatant hypocrite in any setting is a turn off to me, especially now I get what you're saying, especially a motherfucker that's like, I mean, 
I'm in recovery and I'm just better than you at this and I don't smoke anymore and look at your walls and you know what I'm saying that kind of shit just a, a, a hypocrite like that for one it says a whole lot about them they own some real weak shit and two I feel just like you um a place where I have where I'm learn I'm trying to learn more tolerance and that's my thing I have I don't, I have I don't have I have really short patience. I was born with short patience for just clear bullshit. I was like, you could bullshit somebody else. There's somebody else that's for that shit, that actually will entertain it. It's not me. You know what I'm saying? If we want to be all positive, we can sit here and be as positive as I would. That's how I would wish every interaction for the rest of my life forever would be. It just doesn't always end up like that, right? But th there's always somebody that's down for your bullshit, and you should find them. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, I, I'm just like I'm just like you with that, man. It, it, if you really are really about the essence of the spirit, the, the spiritual essence of like, you know, making yourself better, doing your own self work, then the way you approach other people is the exact opposite of trying to say you better than them. You could immediately on some fuck shit if you're like, listen, I got my shit together and I'm better than you. You know what I'm saying? That's some complete you, devil shit. <laughs> you know, you what come, you, fuckery. exactly. <laughs> you know what you I mean? come from the opposite yeah. perspective of like compassion because you've been there. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, Not because, you, you would you would think. You would think. I mean, so but I just wanted to point that out because I, I see that a lot. I, I see it. I see it. This in people. I see it. Whatever on IG. I just see it, and I'm just like, man, I'm like, you know, artists. And I'm like, yo, you were just like I. Your last album just had all this shit on it. Like, mm. and now it's, and that's cool that you're growing, but like how much, like, don't just do it for show. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, man, it's, I, it's, I, I actually, I, dude, and no lie, true story. I actually know a rapper. I would not say their name, but they were like, man, you can rap this dope shit. You don't actually have to live it. And I was like, wow. Like you really believe that. And I think they read the room and seen that like, that ain't really, you should have, your mask slid a little bit when you said that because everybody else around was like, yo, man, like, that ain't it. But there are people really like that. There's people that are just like, just, I'm not judging them. I just don't like them. You know what I'm saying? That's my right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, people are a trip. No, it's true. If you guys have any uh, quick quick com uh, questions or anything, uh, you can please use the questions feature below. Um, again, this is, for anyone who wasn't in on the first show, this is our um, first show, Talking Crazy. And yeah, we're not talking music here. This is our first show called Talking Crazy. It's a show about mental health. And um, we're, that's, that's really what we're discussing. You know, you know, for every every third Monday um, of, of, of each month, just in a candid fashion, different topics and stuff like that. This is our first show. And we're just kind of doing a little outline of just kind of how we're going to rock and just what we're about and what we're not about. And, and and so, um, yeah, it's weird. It's weird because the algorithms like every like everybody in here is like wasn't on the first show. That's how fucked up it is. Except for like two or three people. That's crazy. So yeah, yeah so, um, yeah. So everybody in here, that's well, a lot of people that are in here now, uh, didn't catch any of the first conversation. Right, they didn't catch any. Of it. So, but that's okay because it, that's good. Be on, the, more, the more the merrier. This will all be on the YouTube and stuff like that. But this is you know we're, we this was an organic thing. We, 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 um. A plus was on a couple of months ago and it was just it was just dope and we, we had a great conversation and then so we said let's rock. You know, we've been friends for a minute, so uh let's see if we got a, what we got here. Yeah, let's, I see I seen some hip hop questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, 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 they ain't no. Let's, yeah, 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 they ain't do, no. do it, let's see here. This is an interesting question. What's something I can do as a senior in high school to prep for real world shit? Oh wow, well, that's loaded. Um, that's a good question. Uh, well, no, I would say I'll say this. I'm gonna jump lot. in and I'll say this. The real world is you getting shit on all the time by a lot of people that you thought were your friends and family, and you gotta adjust and adapt and rock with that shit. The real world is fucking harsh. And you find some light in there, and you got to rock, run with that light. You got to keep your circle tight. But fuck it, I'd say one thing. Don't fuck with everybody. That's something I'll say. Don't fuck with everybody. Keep your circle close. Always. Yeah. Keep yeah. your circle I mean, close. Real world life, your circle will get smaller. 
that's what happens. That 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 high school and lean into into uh adult uh beginning of adult life. Um, it's gonna happen, man. It, they ain't your gonna, friends. Yeah, it, they, everyone served each other's purpose in each other's lives. It's not to be like you know like all of a sudden you know you don't. It, it's it's hard to explain. Um, people are in your life for a reason, and and when they're ready to go, when they're supposed to go you'll get signs and indications that it's time, whether you are capable to recognize those signs and actually remove them for your, from your life. Well, that's entirely up to you as a person. But I would suggest that you do a lot of self-work and introspection so you can have your vision clear enough to see such signs when they do appear. Um, me personally, in my life, because of my own, and I'm not blaming nobody or myself, it's my shit, because of my own trauma, there were certain signs. There were certain signs I could not see because of my lack of information in in, in that area because of trauma. And I got burned by some motherfuckers that should have been out my life a long time ago. And um and they were around creating havoc in my life for as long as I let them. So for the uh, for the brother um the plant the green plant um that's what I would say. I would be like, well, pr prepare yourself by working on yourself as much as possible. You going you're gonna succeed. At some endeavors, you're going to fail at others. But the, the main thing is always to be working out on yourself. When you start trying to work outwards to fix mad shit before you work inside, the shit that you got fucked up inside is going to fuck everything up and continue to, to um, exasperate your problems. Um, if you're having problems out, out in the world and out in situations, the 100% best thing you could do is to look inside yourself and see anything you can do that is within your realm of possibilities to stop it from happening. Do all of that, and usually the fucking problem will disappear, even if it had, you had no fault in it at all and whatever. The fault, fault is a weird word to use, but work on self, uh, keep your self-esteem up, and uh, you know, read the writing on the wall. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Yo, listen. Read the Did room. you see that fuck shit? Yeah. Listen, we're, I think we're all guilty of hanging on to a person or a situation, a job, a home, a fit, too long. I, mean, I think we're all of us, right? But as we get older, hopefully, like for me, I, I cut it off. At, like, oh, no, fuck shit. <laughs> like, so when you see that fuck shit, like, run with that heart, man. This shit is not wrong, man. This shit is not wrong. This is wrong a lot of times. This is not fucking wrong. You know what I'm saying? And when and when your when your heart when your stomach is turning knots and you be like, yo, why I feel all funny when I fuck with that nigga all the time? When I see that motherfucker, like, you know, like cause they cause they trash. Like, <laughs> don't do not hold on to this shit, man. Like yeah. once you see the bullshit, do yourself a favor and and and, and take that sh and get that shit out of there, man. Because like I, you're, so you're gonna be right. Some, to your point, someone in the um, comments said your future, your future self will thank you, a hundred percent. Everything Tamal just said. Uh, my sister also said like, um, work on yourself and try to have fun doing it. When you're working on yourself, you're gonna have, some of it's gonna be work, but try to find some fun in it, some pleasure in it. Um, and and like Tamal said, yeah, some people is just trash. Be when you I start mean, when you start when you smell when you smell the garbage, take out the trash. Right. Right. I mean, just like don't don't. Listen, I've noticed this over my life, man. Like, when we're really honest with ourselves, like a lot of times we'll ask somebody for something, right? And we want them to really co-sign with the, our bullshit. We know what the fucking answer is, but we want them to co-sign our bullshit. And then when we don't, they don't, we get mad. You know, if we're really honest, if we pull aside all the bullshit, right, and we dig deep, 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 Nine times out of ten, with any situation, we know what the answer is. We know what the right thing, the, the thing to do is. Whether we have the strength and courage to do it or not is a completely different story. But we know if we pull it, if we peel off, peel the onion away, keep peeling, and we, and we know the nigga that's just beating you in the fucking face every other day, should you leave him or not? Yeah, I should. Like, we know after, like, we know, man. We really fucking know. And it's a, it's a, it's a question of whether or not we have the strength at that time to do it. So not, like I said, we hold on sometimes, but we really know, man. We, but that, we, we know. This comes back to like, uh, you know, mental health and um, 
and you know things we'll get into like trauma bonding you know what i'm saying like people develop trauma bonds and 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 you get you know you get things like uh i don't know if this is a pc word to say but bad battered wife syndrome and shit like that and people get who get trapped in these bad relationships because of what whatever whatever trauma trauma they got in their head has them not able to have the strength to leave these situations and you know it, it becomes at that point well long prior long before that it was it, it had been a mental health issue but right. uh yeah man you're gonna right. um yeah right we gotta get ready to get on out of here i gotta get on here it's 10 o'clock 10 20 10 15 where i am and i i am um, uh, i'm on the east coast so um well, i i, I want to say before you say man um, this is a dope first first episode um, of course I want everybody out there that's that's listening now um, to know that, like, you know, this is a we come in we come into this with a lot of uh, a lot of inspiration, a lot of motivation, a lot of optimism. We're both very excited and passionate we're about. Fucking pumped! I mean, like, we've been texting each other, and be like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're we're juice, man. And I gotta say, for me personally, man, and we and me and Small talked about this. It's like at this point in my life, um, this is something that. It really, uh, you know, it's close to my heart, obviously, um, and it it, it, uh, it provides a, 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 it gives me a sense of purpose. Not like I didn't have any prior. That's not the case, but it gives me a a, a, a sense of purpose at this level in life, at this point in my life, this stage of my life, to be able to discuss these things and hopefully help anybody at all, and also get help ourselves you know like and learn from from other people in these questions and people in the chat um and we're really excited about this and um it's gonna grow it's gonna we're gonna shape it it's mad raw um i mean we raw anyway so we're just probably gonna always be raw but um we want to uh, welcome everybody on this journey and thank everybody for that that partook on this and and who's gonna watch this when it's posted and and this is like a this is a uh uh, labor of passion, so to speak, man, and, and uh, we just glad everybody rocking with us, and, and hope you continue to watch us as, as we develop and, and as we, you know, fine tune this. This is our first time out, and, and it, it feels good, man. I'm happy to be here, no doubt. Yeah, we're we're very excited. I mean, it, it, it's it's us just, you know, wanting to try to give give something. I mean, you know, like you can learn a lot by watching just people sharing their fuck ups. If that's what you want to look at it, it's not some you know, again, we're not doctors or anything. We're just talking and sharing experiences or whatever and, and history and things like that. And as we say, take what you want and, and, and leave the rest. It's every third Monday, talking crazy with A plus and myself tomorrow and um, and you guys. And it's, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to, you know, we're going to have some, we're going to probably have some guests at some point. Um, if you guys, next time, I didn't, I didn't share it, but like next time you can put some uh, topic suggestions, things you want to discuss. So, it's it's important and even if no one comes i mean it's 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 for us too like we're just chopping it up and and, and getting something out of it and i've said numerous times man i don't give a fuck about the hip-hop shit when it, when it comes to this i mean like this if this takes off all the, any of the things that i'm trying to do this is what matters to me this is really important so so that being said we're going to get this up on the youtube um, uh -huh. I'm gonna get it to you. You're gonna get it on platform. So what we pop, you know, these episodes will be out every third Monday, right? Evil Tongues every third Monday of um of the month, and we're gonna get these. You know, it's gonna be up on YouTube, Spot Spotify, podcast, blah 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 blah. So um, anything else? I think that you know. But yeah, nah, nah, man. Uh, thank you all for being here. Thank you, my brother Small. Uh, I love talking crazy with you, bro. And uh, here we go, man. Let's uh, let's let, let's build. Ooh, talking crazy. Thanks everybody for rocking with us, man, and, and and sharing and stuff and being and real quick I want to shout out um I want to shout out La, La Plant Verde uh Green mm -hmm. for being in high school and asking such an that intelligent question. In, introspective question. Absolutely. When, you're on the right path just by asking the fucking question at your age. So for real. Do whatever you're doing, because you're good. Like yeah. that one, I really wanted to point that out. Like nobody in high school is asking that shit. So that's like, you're still here. That's salute. Salute. Because I wasn't asking that question. Where, where the skins at, where the forties at, where the fucking Phillies at, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so word. word. So thanks everybody. We're going to do it again. I will get this edited and get it up on the YouTube within like a few days. And, um, 
You're rocking round two next month, man. You know what I'm saying? Much love. Peace, y'all. All right, man. Salute. Salute, my brother. Appreciate you.